Young people in Birmingham have pleaded with the City Council to not make multi-million pound cuts to its youth services. They said it was important to have a safe place to go to keep them off the streets and away from the risk of knife crime. Well, the struggling authority is trying to save £300 million over the next two years. But young people say, why should they pay for the mistakes of adult councillors? Lewis Warner reports. With every footstep, they took their argument forwards. To the front doors of power angry with cuts they fear are coming to Birmingham's youth services. What good work do you see these youth centres doing? A lot of good work. A lot of young people attend youth services to attend to have their only hot meal of the day. We're in a cost of living crisis. Parents can't feed their children. It's a, it's a place where young people can talk to trusted adults. I've had my own problems with mental health during the cost of living crisis and COVID pandemic, and youth workers have helped me at every single stage. Why should young people face the bruise of the mistakes made by adults? Why should they? Unite the Union says £2 million of the youth service's £4.8 million budget is under threat. Today, young people handed in appeal letters to the council's leadership. One wrote, Small Heath Youth Centre is a safe place for me. I'm off the streets and away from risk and harm. I don't want to be thrown out on the street. Another said, if these centres were not open, us young people wouldn't have a safe place to go and learn new things and develop new skills. While another wrote, please do not get rid of the youth clubs. I have learned about cooking, gang, knife and drug crime. It has helped me to socialise and enjoy the outside more. Yeah, genuinely fearful. Uh, a, a generic open access youth provision in a, in a city, in the youngest city in the UK, Birmingham, is, is obviously important. Um, from young people that are just not achieving at school to young people that are at risk of, of, of uh, guns, got, um, violence, uh, knife crime. Um, every young person in Birmingham is going to be worse off if the cuts happen. The council turned down our offer of an interview and blocked us from filming in two youth centres where staff said they would allow us in. In an interview last week, the council leader, who said they would be open and honest about these cuts, insisted people's opinions would be heard. We have got some really difficult decisions that we'll need to take. We've not yet published the details of those budget proposals. Obviously, I won't comment on speculation that's out there until those, those proposals are in the public domain. But obviously, citizens will want to express their views on that, and we will engage with communities across the city as we seek to deal with what is a very difficult financial situation for the council right now. The official budget proposal in which the cuts will be laid out won't be published until next week, but some councillors are confident of where the cuts will fall. We know that the youth service as a non-statutory service is going to be on the list of those cuts because although councils have a statutory duty to provide services for young people, they do not have a statutory duty to provide youth services. And that's, that's a failure of government. Youth workers fear the consequences of these cuts won't just be financial, but detrimental to the lives of young people. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Birmingham.